What's up, Algebra 1? This is Miss Mullins. Um, we are going to be looking at a different way of how to multiply polynomials. It's called multiplying polynomials with a tail. Before you did um, the FOIL method, and that is still a great way to, I'm gonna write that to the side here. That's still a, way, a great way to multiply polynomials, but I wanted to show you this additional method. This is also gonna show up on your worksheet that I've assigned to you this week. And we're actually gonna do, whoa, those questions together. So I am going to first, get this to be not so large. Um, hope you are enjoying your quarantine. I mean, really, who can enjoy a quarantine? Okay, so this is number seven. Sorry, the smart notebook limited mode is in the corner. That's just what you get for it. So what you're gonna do with number seven is um, you'll essentially just be taking everything from this first parentheses and putting it in these boxes. So x will get its own box, and then minus 3 or negative 3 will get its own box. And then the second set of parentheses will go up here at the top. So again, an x, and then a minus 2 or a negative 2. Then the next thing, you might have learned this method of how to multiply in elementary school. Um, so you can kind of use that same thing here. You're essentially just gonna multiply X by X, or if you've ever done a Punnett square for like DNA to know dominant and recessive traits, that's also a very cool science lesson. Anyways, you're gonna do X times X, that's gonna give you X squared. And you can tell that I'm not used to writing with this thing on here, okay, X squared. And then you just keep moving across. You can either move across or down and up. And then I'll do X times negative two, that's gonna give me negative two X. And then down here, I would get negative 3 times x, which is negative 3x. And then a negative 3 times a negative 2 would be a positive 6. So what I'm going to do is now focus on these things, combine any like terms to write my final answer. So x squared does not have any like terms, so it's going to go by itself. Then I have a negative 2 and a negative 3, a negative 2x, negative 3x. Those can be put together to give me a negative 5x. And then 6 is just regular by itself, so I'll say plus 6. So my answer to number 7 on your worksheet, hooray, I just give you an answer. One less thing you got to do is x squared minus 5x plus 6, okay? So you're going to get a chance to practice. We're going to go ahead and get you to practice number 8 on your own. What you're going to do now is just go ahead and pause the video here like you've done in my previous videos. Try this one by yourself, and then once you're done, click play to see how you did. All right, so by now you've gotten a chance to try number eight. What I'm gonna do first is put this first set of parentheses, y plus one, into that first line of boxes. And because you're multiplying, it really doesn't matter which one goes where, just as long as each individual term gets their own box. And then y and minus six will go up here. And then you start multiplying. y times y, y squared. y times negative six, that's negative six y. One times y would be one y. And then one times negative six is negative six. And then you're combining your like terms within this set of four things. So I'll have y squared goes by itself. And then negative 6y and positive 1y. That gives me a negative 5y. And then minus 6 is by itself too. So we'll just have this as my answer for number 8. y squared minus 5y minus 6. Booyah. All right. Hope you, hopefully you did okay. We're going to practice one more. Again, this will be trying on your own. Number 9. Again, you will take the time now to pause the video, try it on your own. Once you're done, click play to check your work. Okay, so for number nine, I did Q and three down the sides or, uh, vertically, and then Q and positive seven um, horizontally. Q times Q gives me Q squared. Q times seven is seven Q. Q times three, or three times Q would be three Q, and then three times seven is 21. That was a really nice one because everything's positive. So combining like terms, Q squared by itself, 7Q and 3Q both give me 10Q, and 21 is by itself, so plus 21. So my answer for number 9 will be Q squared plus 10Q plus 21. Um, I didn't show you any examples with a binomial times a trinomial, but it would still be the same concept. Instead of you having just maybe two by two, a two by two table, you would have a two by three table and that extra column would just be here on this side. Um, so you would have a lot more things that you need to combine, but it still works the same way. And again, you can try this method 
whenever you want. It's the same idea as multiplying polynomials that we learned before with FOIL. Thanks so much for tuning in. Miss you all. Hope you're having a lovely day. And please email your teacher with any math questions. Ta-ta!